Our bombshell breaking news tonight. Sources confirmed to CNN that President Trump shared highly classified information with Russian officials. Let's discuss it now. CNN legal analyst Laura Coates is here. Richard Painter, a former White House ethics lawyer. And CNN legal analyst Paige Pate. Good evening to all of you. Thank you for coming on. Paige, uh, you don't think the president broke the law, but you say that, that he used bad judgment. How specifically and how bad? Oh, I don't think there's any question he used bad judgment. The question is how damaging his bad judgment is going to be to the country. Uh, you know, if anybody else had done what he did uh, in connection with meeting with representatives of a foreign government by leaking classified information, they would be prosecuted and they would be put in jail. But unfortunately, I suppose fortunately for the president, these two laws that govern the release of classified information basically let the president do whatever the president wants to do with classified information. But it's a horrible mistake of judgment because the information that he's putting out there can not just endanger American citizens, but also people around the world, and it can really put our relationships with people and governments that give us information at great risk. So, Richard, how can anyone there have, you know, you saw in the last segment that there are people who are defending this. Is this, is this defensible or is it indefensible? Well, all I could say is when I was the chief ethics lawyer of the Bush administration, uh, we made it very clear how critically important it was not to uh, reveal a classified information to anyone without a security clearance. And it would have been a joke if I had said, oh, and don't release classified information to the Russians. <laughs> uh, I mean, this is just, just ludicrous. And, of course, uh, uh, the uh, law will allow the president to do this. Uh, uh, legally, just like he uh, doesn't have the financial conflicts of interest statute apply to him that applies to the rest of the entire executive branch. Uh, and he can run around saying he's above the law and he doesn't have to uh, do this, that, and the other thing, and he can uh, uh, give out classified information to the Russians. But mm -hmm. at a certain point, people are going to get tired of it. And, and this is putting our country's national security at risk. Uh, the president should only be sharing classified information with foreign powers after he's been advised by his national security team that it's in our national interest to share certain classified information and with the Russians, of all people. Uh, I mean, that, uh, trusting the Russians with classified information is like trusting Bernie Madoff with your money. I mean, it makes no sense. <laughs> Uh, what's going on here. Okay, so listen, Laura, all of this happens against the backdrop of the president have the fired, uh, ha having fired the FBI uh, director, uh, James Comey, in part of the recommendation of, uh, for Attorney General, who, um, in part on the recommendation of Attorney General, who had previously recused himself because he said that he wouldn't, didn't want to deal with it because he had disclosed contacts that he had with the Russian ambassador, had not disclosed. Did Attorney General Jeff Sessions, do you think, violate his recusal promise by doing this? Well, there's really two issues you talk about violating. There's the ethical violations for trying to parse words as the head of the Department of Justice about whether or not what you really meant was, I'm going to only look at things if they're a personnel-related issue, even if they overwhelmingly, not just tangentially, actually touch on campaign-related issues. Remember, the justification for the recusal was that I, he wasn't going to talk about anything to do with the campaigns or the Russia investigation. And instead, he has stated that he, it was more of a personnel issue, and that he has every right as the head of the Justice Department to ensure that his chief investigator is somebody who is credible among his ranks, credible among the people that he works with at the FBI. So that's his excuse there. But remember, Donald Trump has consistently given many but different explanations about why he chose to terminate James Comey. One of them being the Russia investigation and trying in some way to stop what he thought was a conspiracy. Well, if Jeff Sessions was aware that that was even one of the motivations behind Trump's firing of Comey, then he has not only violated ethically his duty to recuse himself, but also perhaps in the obstruction world to say he knows of a reason that somebody is trying to undermine an investigation and he played a part. But Don, really important here to keep in mind is the backdrop here. The same day we have a travel ban argument in the Ninth Circuit where the president's own men are saying, listen, the national security issue gives me supreme deference. Defer to my judgment on national security grounds. It's the same day we learn that he apparently has disregarded the national security of the nation, perhaps, or is acting in um, a way to undermine it. It's a very, very interesting expedition here. 
here. That's, uh, Paige, I want you to uh, and, uh, remind for our viewers what uh, Attorney General Jeff Sessions said when it came out that he had not disclosed all of his meetings with the Russians. Watch this. I have now decided to recuse myself from any existing or future investigations of any matter relating in any way to the campaigns for President of the United States. Could he be in serious legal or ethical trouble? Well, I don't know about legal trouble because I don't know who's going to hold him accountable. I don't think the president's going to hold him accountable. Obviously, Congress can't do much about it. They can't remove him from office. But I do think what he said was a promise to the American people that he's not going to have anything to do with the Russia investigation. And I have no idea how you could possibly be a part of evaluating a new FBI director and you're not discussing the Russia investigation to make sure that your new director can move forward with that investigation, is going to have the proper resources for that investigation. So I find it impossible for the Attorney General to be involved in that process, even from the personnel side, without getting involved with questions relating to that investigation and without violating his prior promise. Thank you all. When we come back, is President Trump's staff secretly slipping him fake news? My next guest has a scoop.